hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy earrings so keep watching for the pattern i will be using anchor thread number 8 0.5 mm crochet hook earring stud stopper jump ring scissor and glue so these are the things required for the earrings we need to make a base and a flower so we are going to start with the base for the tutorial i'll be using a larger size yarn and hook so that it's easy to follow we're going to start the pattern with a magic ring chain one in this ring we're going to make 12 half double crochets I'll just go ahead and complete all my half double crochets. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. I have completed all my 12 half double crochet. We're going to make a slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch. So our first layer is completed. For the next row, we are going to chain 3, which will be counted as 1 double crochet. Chain 1. We are going to skip the first chain and make a slip stitch in the next chain. Make 1 double crochet in the same stitch. Chain 1, make a slip stitch in the front loop of the previous stitch. So these are the front loop, we are going to make a slip stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, make a slip stitch in the front loop. One double crochet in the same stitch. Chain 1, make a slip stitch in the front loop. We need to repeat this pattern all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. In the end, we will have a total of 24 double crochet stitches including chain 3. And now we are going to make a slip stitch in the third chain. So our base is done. We are going to fasten up the thread and weave the ends. Now we are going to make the flower. We are going to start with a magic ring. Chain 3. Make 2 treble crochet in the ring. Chain 3, 
Make a slip stitch in the ring. So our first petal is done. Let's repeat the next petal together. Chain 3. Make 2 treble crochet in the ring. Chain 3. Make a slip stitch in the ring. So repeat this and complete the other two petals. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I've completed all my petals. We will have a total of four petals. We are going to close the magic ring. Fasten off the thread and weave the ends. So our flower is completed. We have completed both the patterns. Now we are going to assemble the earrings together. I'm going to attach a bead right in the center of the flower. Let it dry for a couple of seconds. I'm going to attach earring stud with the help of jump ring to complete the earrings. So a beautiful earring is completed. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.